Hi, a bit about troubleshooting. All pests want the same thing. They want the sugars that, that are made from chemical energy of the sunlight, um, the things we all live on. Um, I wanted to alert you to the fact that there's going to be some pests in your life if you're, if you're dealing with plants, whether it's a rose or, or a cannabis plant. Um, organics draw pests. Uh, spider mites, thripes, different uh, almost microscopic type of pests that can really drain the, the uh, life's energy from your plant. On occasion, you have to fight back. Um, thrips, spider mites, um, some of these can be handled by, for instance, ladybugs, which is a great way to go, and non-toxic. On occasion, you have some real problems. Um, Azamax is put up by um, General Hydroponics, which is as strong um, a substance as I've used, uh, an insecticide, um, miticide. Um, I prefer, and with less important um, or less stressful uh, um, ailments or infections, um, OG Bio Wars. Um, these are microbial um, substances that come on talc that's easy to apply both to as a root drench and as a foliar feed. This you cannot use when you're in flower. Do not use that. This is, this is preventive maintenance. You could start your soil or in our case um, um, cocoa and do a light spray over the top when you first before you even plant as a, as a protection from for instance thripes or spider mites. If you have a dog or a cat and you like to hike, the chances are you could very well bring in some of these pests. So it's something you're going to have to think about. There you have it.